Hopefully this is just a temporary increase, but it really spiked up with the recent shortage. A global helium shortage is impacting everything from party balloons to scientific research. While balloons may be the first thing you think of when you hear about helium, the lighter than air gas is also used in research, medical tests like MRIs and welding. So what's causing the shortage? CBS 13's Jen McGraw is live in Sacramento getting answers for us. Jen? Tony and Shireen, it wasn't easy getting my hands on this balloon. In fact, over the weekend, many of the stores were actually out of helium. But it's not just the balloons that this affects. It also affects hospitals that use helium on a daily basis. From a fun party supply to cutting edge research, helium has many uses. It's a unique material. But now there's a growing shortage of noble gas in the marketplace. We are very, very tough. Yeah, for us right now. The owner of HD Balloon says selling helium is a big part of his business. 90%. Five years ago, it cost $25 to fill up this helium tank. Today, it costs close to $300. And that's even if the business owner can get it. We can't get any helium from anywhere. Delivery of the element has been periodic. Just ran out. The shortage even slowing science. We're expected to try to cut back and put off our experiments for a little bit until there's a better helium supply. This physics lab at UC Davis uses helium in superconducting research. Professor Rina Zeev says a Middle East embargo is increasing demand for U.S. supplies. And some of the helium they want is being given to higher priority projects. If you're a hospital that's running an MRI machine, you can't just turn off your machine. So now they're trying to recycle what they've used. There's been a big move in the United States to try to have much more recovery of helium. Unlike hydrogen, helium can't be manufactured, and the global supply is only found deep underground and in limited supply. It actually just rises away from the earth and escapes. Ethan Trong is hoping the shortage subsides before all of his business bursts. And again, these balloons, as, as people had said out there, that perhaps because of the shortage that all of these balloons should be banned, but truly it's only a small fraction of the helium that's being used.